Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It is Sunday morning. It is 10.30. I am just getting out of bed. I'm feeding my boys their breakfast, making coffee. Got to run a couple errands this morning. Now, why am I in bed until 10.30? Because that is not normal. Friday, I worked my regular job until 3.30, so I left early. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. And then I went to work at the Schottenstein Center. Uh, Dave Chappelle was debuting his documentary here. In, I don't know if it's on the road or if it's just here in Columbus because he's from the local area. Not sure, but he did a showing of his documentary and then a small concert thing after. So Friday night, I didn't get out of there till after one. And then on Saturday, yesterday, I had to be up and out by eight. I worked the last home. Okay, boys. Last home football game, now we're making coffee. I worked the last home football game for the Buckeyes, and that went, I didn't get out of there until like 4.30. I had to be there at 9, so I'm tired, very tired today, um, but the show must go on, as they say, and I have work to do. I need to go to some Dollar Trees. And also I would like to start putting out some stuff for Thanksgiving, getting some stuff prepared. We're gonna make cranberry sauce today, keto version of cranberry sauce. And we're gonna tidy up in here. I have a box that I need to go over to Goodwill with, so I'll do that today. Put the blender away. That box right there is some old dishes that I don't need. They're mostly Christmas dishes. And then we're going to get out the box to make our charcuterie board for Thanksgiving. I'm not making the actual board. I'm just getting everything out of storage and tidied up. So I thought we would do that. Uh, I'm having hair issues today. I did not wash it. Fun fact. It's not a hair wash day. Um, I don't wash my hair every day, and I certainly am not washing it today because I'm tired. So, yes, we got coffee going. I brought the Keurig back out this, for the season. Um, typically, I brew like a pot, but I have a cake cup. Oh, my battery. I have a cake cup advent calendar that I need to have my Keurig out for. So I thought I would just bring that out for a change, I suppose, we'll call it. And I've been at Starbucks a little too much the last few days with work and stuff, so I'm making home coffee today. So there's that. Also, I need to get some liquid skin. My thumb has already started the winter cracking. I hate that. And I need to get some better moisturizer to put on at night, like Vaseline probably. All right, let's get going. We got a busy day today. Hi guys, I'm back from the grocery store in Dollar Tree. Got some fun stuff. I'll show you my grocery haul. I got 18 count of eggs. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna end up back at um, Aldi or not, but I think I am. Cause Walmart didn't have everything I need. I'm making for Thanksgiving broccoli gratin. It's just a broccoli in a cheese sauce, like potatoes, all gratin potatoes. And then I got frozen kale. I'm gonna try making like an artichoke dip but with kale, but I grabbed some extra, um, when I grab extra broccoli, 
guys, I'm tired. Extra broccoli. I am making cranberry. This is the diet, so it's low sugar. I'm going to tell you, the last two years, I have not been able to find the Sierra Mist. I mean, I feel like Sierra Mist puts it out. Sprite, ginger ale, in the cranberry, in diet. At Walmart today, I was able to find the regular sugared one, but not the diet. So I got gin, diet ginger ale and diet Sprite. Right now to make my own. I also need to drink some water today. I'm feeling a little dry. Now this is not water, I know. I will drink water in a little bit. But right now I'm just mixing it up in a cup. Delicious. Also I found at Walmart sugar-free whipped cream. I'm making on Christmas, I'm making uh, keto waffles for myself. Probably on Thanksgiving as well. Then I was out of no sugar added ketchup and I got some blue cheese. I like to dip chicken in blue cheese and I was out of that. I was out of a lot of my regular condiments. That's the kind of stuff I can't get at Aldi. Um, same thing with sugar-free dark, these are dark chocolate bacon chips, Lily brand. I can't get those at Aldi. And I wanted some low fat sour cream to make up some dips. Because the next, you know, several weeks between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm going to be kind of busy. Um, I also got some too good, this is two grams of sugar yogurt and vanilla. I'm making cranberry sauce and I like to put it on plain yogurt or vanilla yogurt. So I grab that and then while we're here, we're going to clean out this refrigerator. Today and run the dishwasher and then what? Oh, I got cream cheese. And then I got like a little gift for my work friend. It's for her mistletoes. I'm doing, I made, I think I showed you the bags I sewed. This is gonna go in somebody's bag. And I got myself a pair and these are Air Plus double layer cozy socks. So they're super warm and my feet get cold in the winter. And these are infused with aloe. And these are the women's sizes. So I grabbed a pack for me because I love, I love to have warm fuzzy socks around the house. I just leave them in different rooms. And then when my feet get cold, I put them on. I'm putting more Sprite in here. Okay, now the next step for preparing for Thanksgiving today is to sit down and chill out for a minute put the rest of these groceries away, and then we're gonna make cranberry sauce. I decided I will probably make it today. It'll be fine in the fridge for a couple weeks, but um, I want it for Thanksgiving, and it just takes a while to boil down because I don't use gelatin or pectin. I just boil the cranberries. I'm gonna use a little of the Tampico orange juice stuff for flavor and then my sweetener. It's just for me. Nobody else will like it. And I have to start my new medicine today. I'm on Ozempic. I have been on this for a couple weeks. My primary care gave it to me before I went to my diabetes doctor. I have to prime this pen. Um... And it wasn't really working, so he said we're going to change it up, the dose, to a, a stronger dose of the same medication and hope that helps. And then tomorrow I get the Libra Freestyle. It's a sensor I put on my skin and it stays on my skin. I think I got that. Do one more. There we go. You have to just prime it, get any of the air out the first time you use it. I was on 0.5 milligrams. He just upped my dose to one milligram. So I need to take that. Hi, Dubs. Do you want to come up and say hi? Oh, whoa, my big boy. They are not happy with me. The last couple of days I've been gone for a while, like all day Friday and then most of the day yesterday. 
you say hi? You gonna say hi? He said, I'm not. You're gonna hold me like this until I'm done. Yeah, I know. All right, well, I'm gonna get these boys. Okay, they're done now. He wants a treat. I just gave him one, but. All right, so I need to put, take my shot, get all this stuff put away, and then we'll make cranberry sauce. Okay, first things first. We're gonna take our small little pot here and a bag of fresh cranberries. And put them in the pot. Then I have some of the zero sugar citrus punch, so it's orange, tangerine, and lemon. And I think that will be good in here instead of water. And then we're just gonna turn it on. And that's it, I'll get the sugar out in a little bit to um, sweeten it. But first I need to get all, ooh, let's get that cranberry out of there. That one just wasn't yummy looking. So they're gonna heat up, it's gonna come to a boil. All the cranberries are gonna pop and we're gonna get a lot of juice going here and it will thicken up. It will never be like gelatinous, like cranberry jello out of a can, but it will be delicious with turkey. And oh, I do put a little, that much, just a little bit of salt in it for that. Now for lunch, because I'm hungry, last night I made tomato soup out of, canned tomatoes, so no sugar involved. And I'm hungry, so I haven't had lunch yet. And it's two o'clock. So I'm just gonna heat up a, a serving for me, which is two ladles. And then I'm gonna make a keto grilled cheese out of the keto bread that I made. I'm just gonna put it in the oven with some cheese between it. And that's it. I mean, this cranberry sauce, it'll keep, it also freezes really well. So I'll probably freeze half for Christmas week. Although I do have more cranberries in the freezer. So there's that. So we'll see. Maybe I'll put just a tad bit more Tampico in there. There we go. It says I'm not using water this time. And then if I need it, I'll add some of my sweetener. That's it. We'll let it come to a boil. I need to take the trash out. I need to feed my boys. And I need to, uh, I need to stir my soup and heat that up. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, this is what they're looking like. They're just popping. And they get really hot. And then they pop and the juice comes out. And this is the beginning of cranberry sauce. This will go for about an hour. I'll turn it down and just let it simmer and just let these cranberries cook down. And then typically I strain out the skins, we'll see, and the pulp. And I just get like a cranberry jelly. And I use it on everything, I love it. It's not too terribly bad for me. A little bit at a time, like a teaspoon or a tablespoon at a time. I don't sit down and eat a whole bowl of it. But, yeah. So this has to just go and the pectin, natural pectin will release. And see, it's getting thick. And I don't know that I'll need to add real sh any of my sugar sweetener. I'll have to taste it in a little while and see. But right now... I turn it down a little lower and just let it simmer. It's thick, so it really does need to be on a low, so it doesn't splat everywhere. And I don't wanna add more sugar to it, or I'm sorry, more liquid, because I want it thick. So I just kinda let it do its thing. It's already getting pretty thick, which is lovely. All right, let it go. We got more berries to pop. All right, guys, it's done. And I think I'm gonna leave it chunky this year. 
because you know why not and look how thick it is this is going to be the perfect cranberry sauce so i'm just going to get i'm just going to throw a glass bowl across the room no i'm not all right we got this from let me move you Okay, there we go. Can you see it? Yes. It's just a glass bowl from the Dollar Tree, but you gotta let it cool before we can stick it anywhere. But look how thick it is. It's nice and thick for cranberry sauce, for the turkey I'm gonna have, or put on yogurt, put on pancakes at breakfast time. It's perfect. And if you've had some, you could put some orange zest in it or cinnamon. I might sprinkle some cinnamon on top at some point. I'd have to find the cinnamon to do that. I don't know where it is right now, but cranberry sauce is done. We'll let that sit. We're going to clean up in here and then we're going to pull out the tote and go through all of the stuff for the charcuterie board. Okay, I'm ready to get out some of my dishes and things for the charcuterie board for Thanksgiving dinner. So my niece and I are going to my brother's, her dad's and my, my whole family will get together there for Thanksgiving lunch. And then in the evening, we're gonna have a charcuterie board here at my house. So what I'll do is move the camera and show you some of the things that I'm getting out and getting ready. All right, let us go here. First of all, I picked up at Costco some roasted garlic and herb almonds and I feel like I can take what I want and freeze the rest That's a lot of almonds. I won't eat quickly And then at Trader Joe's for Christmas. I got this olive and herb nuts mixed nuts They're mixed a festive mix of season and roasted almonds cashews pecans and olives So I grabbed that for the charcuterie board as well These little jars I got at Ikea in a three pack. And I'm gonna fill one with my cranberry sauce to eat it out of, but I can bring it out for Thanksgiving. So I have that. I'll wash all of these things. I do have some napkins I got at the Dollar Tree. And then these are just two bowls that I picked up at Ikea for charcuterie boards. And then I also have this little bowl here and it has some mints in it right now. And this plate that I made apparently in 2011. Just put food out. And then I have these from the Dollar Tree that I will hand wash um, if I want to put out some other food items. And I'm just grabbing things I think will work for Thanksgiving right now. Christmas will do a whole nother video. But I did pick up for Christmas these drink cups to take to my holiday party at work. All right, I've got different bamboo skewers, but I think I'll use these for Thanksgiving. I'm gonna make little mini sliders. I'm gonna make some small um, Kiva rolls. So I'm gonna use those. I'm not gonna use this. But here's the board I bought, which I need to open. Um, this was, I think, $7.99 at Ikea. And I don't know if this is directions on how to care for it. I do need to get some wood oil for my boards, but for now, let it air out a little bit. So this is just a, a cutting board, but I'll use it like you put your stuff on it with food laying around. But this needs to air out and then I'll wipe it down to make that clean. Ooh, I'm trying to make some room here on the table. Okay, so for Christmas, I have napkins. I do have these dishes for Thanksgiving from the Dollar Tree. Maybe I'll wash those up and use them for different. If not, I haven't used them in a while. I might just toss them away. I do have cloth napkins. I have a couple sets, I guess, of black. Let's see what I got going on here. Oh, this is a... <laughs> tea towel, but I definitely have a set of cloth napkins or two sets of cloth napkins, but there's only two here. So I'll have to figure that out. 
I also have these cloth napkins, which would be fun to sit out. I have, guys, I have so many cloth napkins. Oh, here's another set of tea towels. I have hot pink cloth napkins. Oh, some more of these jars. They did come in a three pack. For Christmas time, I will use these for cheese balls. And I want pub cheese, so I might have to run to uh, Trader Joe's. Oh, fun. I already have um, those are for napkins. Oh, and I have all kinds of stuff down in here. Okay, I need to get rid of a lot of this cloth stuff. I'm going to decide what I want to do with all these towels that I keep buying. Oh, I need to put this one out. It says gather together. I keep buying them, but I don't use them because every year I buy more. All right, let's see. These are hugs and kisses. Oh, I love that. And then these are just my initial Halloween. All right, we're gonna figure out something with all these hand towels. Guys, more napkins. But what I'm looking for are the other two. I don't know. Oh, I'll put these on my Thanksgiving cheese board. These are for cheese. And then, I think I'll put out these and identify what is in everything. I think that is it. I don't feel like I need a bunch of napkin rings because I'm not, we're not gonna sit down to a meal. However, I do love these. Oh, I love those chargers. And then I have the wood ones. So, and then one copper, but I have one, two, three, six wooden ones and four that look like the leather. So I'll put two of these out that look like the leather to decorate my table. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna go through all of these towels and determine what I should keep and what I should donate. Uh, there is a lot of towels in here that's silliness, right? Let's do that, let's purge these. Okay, I'll be back when I have my purge pile. Hi guys, we're at the end of the day and I wanna show you, I need to pack up these gift bags this is for my niece and her friend. They are going on a road trip uh, the day after Thanksgiving. And so I wanted to pack them up. Still some little treats to take along. I do have to go upstairs into my beauty stuff. I have some face masks for them. But for now, I just had dinner and I'm all stuffy. I don't know what caused the stuffy, but it happened. Oh, this is my favorite bag of all times. I mean, I guess not all times, but it is a favorite. All right, so we have this one here and they can just pick a bag. They both will have pretty much the same stuff in them. Well, they won't get to pick, but they'll have to figure out which bag is theirs. But so this was the clipboards that I made. I'm gonna gift them each one. I could wait till Christmas, but Sarah gets an awful lot from me and everybody else, and so, and I won't see Lucy. And that's her friend Lucy. I haven't seen Lucy since summer when she came to my pool several times. But I love the girls. Now, I made them each. These are manifesting ornaments. So they can each do that this weekend while they're out and about and then come home and hang it on their tree. They can manifest what they want the season to be. I got some Boom Chicka Pop that's gonna go down in there. I got them each a, roll, a face roller that they can freeze and take care of their skin. 
So just a little bit of everything, really. I got them each a Santa cookie to have. And then I got this box. I'm super excited about this of um, Nutri-Grain bars and you'll get three strawberry, three cinnamon apple, two mixed berry. So probably what I will do is give them each a bar like, and then I'll send the rest. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter here. We'll just send them all. So they have some breakfast foods. Um, and then I'll go up into my stash of face masks and I'll get them each some face masks and maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. But that's for them to take on their little trip for the car ride. They'll be in the car for several hours, so they'll need snacks. So each of them will get a gift bag. And then I want to show you what I have planned. Oh, this banana. Let me tell you, if you have a cat and you come across these, my boys love it. It's full, 100% full of catnip. There's no fiber fill. They go crazy. I also have um, two more in the garage for them because they're nasty. All right, so Sarah and I on Thanksgiving have a plan. And I wanted to show you what I got for us to do. This is just for her to take home. It's a Norwegian, I think, Scandinavian sponge. So it's real thin, but when you get it wet, it thickens up. Antimicrobial, I believe. I got these at Ikea. So I just have one for her. We have these from the Dollar Tree to make little gnomes with pom-poms. I don't care how old we are. I got us each two kits of the air drying clay so we can make something. I don't know. It looked fun. I got two of these at the Target dollar spot. Hers has a door on it and mine has little houses or we can switch. But it's, we can create our own scene inside of these ornaments. Now this was $3 and then I got us each a Christmas tree we can paint and this lights up and it's like those old fashioned -y ones. So I have to get paint out for us to do that. And then from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed us these ornaments to make out of popsicle sticks. And then these two are finger puppets, little kits that we can make finger puppets with. How fun. And you know what? If we don't get to it all, that is okay. She'll take hers home and I will have mine here and it's just something fun that we can do. And then I have I got for her this glue. I have one upstairs. I'll just grab it because we can glue everything together. So these will just sit under our tree or under my tree, I guess. And then when she comes on Thanksgiving, we'll set up shop down here. I'll get out the TV trays and we will have a good time. Let's see if the boys will come. Bobby, Alex, come here. Oh, Alex, where you at? Oh, there you are. Come here, come here, I will pet you. You have to say hi to our friends. Where's your ball? Do you not want me to screech on you? I will, come here. Whoa. This is my big boy, this is Alex. Alex is a big cat, guys. He weighs 17 pounds, he's a big boy. Wellington is my skinny mini, he weighs 10 pounds. Wellington, where you at, Dub? And Alex likes to play fetch. Where's your ball? Is it over there? Go get it, we'll play. No, all right. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my vlog today and you have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.